Okay, so this is gate C32. You can see our aircraft, Boeing 777-300ER, parked there by the jetway. And it looks like boarding has started. However, the gate seems pretty empty, so maybe most people have made it on to the aircraft. And I just want to get a shot of that engine over there. That is the GE 90115B, the largest and most powerful jet engine in the world. And it's um, exclusive to this aircraft. Oh. Or rather, it's the uh, the only option available on this 777-300ER. All right, so here's a close-up view of the aircraft. As you can see, it's still connected to ground power unit. So I believe that's a diesel generator. And once again. That is one of the GE 90-115B jet engines. The largest and most powerful turbofan engines in the world. I guess most people have boarded the aircraft. Right, so I'm walking along the jetway now that connects to the aircraft. Um, I've taken the first class jetway. People walking there are heading to the economy class section. Your attention please. This, this one leads to first class. <laughs> so we'll have a look at the first class cabin. Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great to your right. Have a safe trip. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is the first class cabin. Oh, check that out. Baits, lovely baits. Dreams. Very nice. Business class. Business class. All right. Economy. Thank you. All right, we're at thirty-three k. Hey. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good, good. All right, that's my seat there, thirty-three k. Oh no, I think I'm thirty-two k. Thirty k. The DK, that's my seat, uh, window seat. Okay, so I finally settled down in my seat, and it appears that we are still running on ground power because the um, air conditioning is quite warm. Thank you. Just been given my menu, so let's have a look at what. Surf today. In the main course. Oh yes, they provide instant cup noodles throughout the flight. That's one thing that Emirates does. Okay, right, so back to... Right, so this is a Boeing 777-300ER. And I've got a window seat here with a clear view of 
the control surfaces such as the uh, ailerons, the flaperons, slates, spoilers, everything, flaps. So I hope to. I hope it wouldn't be too dark to record a video of some of these surfaces in motion during the flight. This time around, the M, the M power power outlet works, and my phone's being charged. Um, for some reason, it didn't work on uh, my outbound flight from Heathrow, so I'm quite glad it does. All right, I'm going to stop recording the video now and I'll record, I'll try to record the takeoff the video once we get underway. Oh, by the way, I've got my barometer here with me, which I'll use to monitor cabin air pressure. It's been calibrated to that altitude there, and that's um, just picked up from GPS, so I guess it's quite reliable. So, yep, give us, this will give us a good indication of uh, carrying pressure on the bike. Looking in, in economy class. We're just waiting for the authorization from the control tower to start our flight, and then we'll be on our way to Dubai. So at the moment, I'm anticipating final time departure. Squad time will be 6 hours and 34 minutes, and we'll be cruising at final altitude of 36,000 feet, which is approximately equal to 10,700 meters. You will be able to pull off the progress of the flight and increase the progress of the speed. Weather on the route is expected to be fine, as well as in Dubai, where the current temperature in Dubai is about 26 degrees Celsius. I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you to keep your seat off on at all times, so I'm fitted, and I expect the trip once is always possible on flying and cruising altitude. And the future uh, mark will be uh, coming back to you as far as turn out this day to uh, Dubai with the latest weather updates. For the time being, let's see back for a while and enjoy the award winning Emerson Flight Service and entertainment. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Okay, so the captain just introduced himself as a gentleman from Italy and first officer as a Canadian and he did point out that this Boeing 777 is brand new so that's, uh, that's quite comforting to know 